as Dune Day approaches, it's being estimated that approximately 10% of all Americans are now preppers. If you're not a prepper yet, I would very much encourage you to start doing the same. Michael Schneider reports, why is the number of preppers growing so rapidly? Prior to the pandemic, somewhere around 2 or 3% of all Americans were preppers, but now that figure has shot up to about 10%. Needless to say, the pandemic certainly put a good scare into a lot of people, but now it has largely passed, and so you'd think the interest in prepping would subside. But instead, the prepping community just continues to grow. On a very, very basic level, most of us understand that the party is ending, and most of us can feel that something really big is coming, in 2023 and beyond, there will be more war, more economic turmoil, more famines, more pestilence, more historic natural disasters. In such an environment, it will pay, pay to be prepared. Not too long ago, the mainstream media openly mocked those that were preparing for the meltdown of society. They were labeled doomsday preppers or survivalists. The entire television shows were created to make fun of them. But now everything has changed. In fact, 60 Minutes just did a story in which they portrayed the preppers as just ordinary people from all walks of life. If you hear the term survivalist, and it conjures images of militants and conspiracy theorists residing on the fringes and on compounds, armed to the teeth, well, it's time to reset your doomsday clock. A worldwide community of preppers, those who stockpile goods and skill up for extreme catastrophes, is girding less for the end of days than for the disaster that calls for taking cover. A climate emergency, civil unrest, the possibility of a dirty bomb, to say nothing of global pandemic that suddenly shuts down the world. It was COVID that turned abstract apocalyptic scenarios into a reality. Modern preppers come, came, come at it from all angles and from all kinds of reasons. We went high and low talking to a few of the millions of Americans who have joined the movement. To me, the most interesting part of the story was when they talked to a man that worked for the Obama administration named John Ramey. Since that time, Ramey has become quite a prepper himself, and he told 60 Minutes that at this stage, approximately 10% of all Americans are now preppers. We think about 15 million Americans are actively prepping right now in terms of percentage of households, and we're at or about to cross 10% of all households, and just a few years ago that was 2 or 3%. In the old days, the vast majority of preppers were conservatives, but these days a lot of liberals are now prepping, and even a lot of those liberals do not believe that the government will be able to handle the sort of apocalyptic scenarios that are rapidly approaching. The following is one example of the 60-minute story that illustrates this point. John Wirtim. If there's some kind of catastrophe, to what extent do you trust the government? Heidi Keller, I'm not going to down the government. I mean, they do their best that they can, but pretty much the government's not going to take care of you, not because they may not want to, but because there's too much going on. That's common sense. What Heidi Keller, Keller said is quite true. The government is not some all-powerful entity that can shield us from all harm. When things start getting really bad out there, a lot of people are only going to be able to turn to themselves for assistance. Recently, one mainstream publication called Big Think put out an article that contained eight statements that are meant to help you determine if you are a prepper or not. Number one, I have stockpiled food and water to survive a potential major disaster. Two, I have stockpiled weapons to survive a potential major disaster. Three, I have stockpiled equipment and materials to survive a potential major disaster. Four, I, have re I regularly think through in my mind ways to survive a potential major disaster. Five, I have thought through who would be in my survival group. Six, I know where I could get more supplies to survive a potential major disaster. Seven, I have a plan I could put into operation to survive a potential major disaster. Eight, I have attended survival courses to help me get through a potential major disaster. For each statement, you're supposed to give yourself a score from 1 to 5. According to the article, the average score is 19. So if you gave yourself a score that's well above 19, that strongly indicates that you are probably a prepper. Earlier today, I came across a news story which explained that the total number of people in the world is about 
to hit 8 billion. The world's population is set to hit 8 billion next week and the key is a key milestone, milestone for humanity according to the United Nations. The UN Population Division said that the population will continue to grow in the decades to come with life expectancy set to increase to an average of 77.2 years old by the year 2050. By November 15, a number of humans on, the number of humans on Earth will grow to 8 billion, more than three times higher than the 2.5 billion global headcount back in 1950. Not all of those 8 billion people will make it through what is ahead. In fact, there are some people that believe that most of them will die by the time this decade is over. Could you imagine what our world would look like if that actually happened? The truth is that we, get really, we got really lucky with the pandemic that we just went through because the death toll was relatively low. In the future, we could easily see pestilences that uh, killed hundreds of millions of people, and we're also now closer to nuclear war than we have ever been before. In addition, the United Nations is publicly warning that multiple famines are likely in this coming year. We live in such troubled times, and more people than ever are getting prepared for apocalyptic scenarios. If you are not a prepper yet, I would very much encourage you to start doing the same. It's finally here, Michael's new book entitled End Times, now available in paperback and for the Kindle on Amazon. Uh, and this is a, an article by Michael Schneider. He says, my name is Michael and my brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Simony Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, the beginning of the end, and a living a life that really matters, commissions earned. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, and financial decisions or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and in any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need help. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world which he gave, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is on the Calyptus Bart by Michael Schneider. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.